Hello everyone! Just wanted to show off a nifty little trick for those of you who have played Skyrim before that you may not know about, but you probably do. Or those of you who are new and just kind of want to power level your way through. So, here's what you do. Um, this is for leveling up Sneak. The Sneak skill tree. So you can see... I've done it a few times. Well, I'm not trying. I played this game a long time ago, and I don't want to have to go through the grind again. So, what you do is you hit triangle to make it legendary, and it resets all the... It returns all the points you put into it, and then it resets it back at 15. So, now, this is an easy way to level up, and it's an easy way to get your skill tree all the way up to 100. And so all you gotta do is go to High Hrothgar, which, uh, let me see if I can pull that up on the map for you so you all can see. Okay, we'll step outside for a second. This is for the PS4 version. I'm pretty sure it works across all platforms, though. So, um, let's see here. Go to the map, and let's see. Basically, you know, you have to get to a certain part of the story to do this. Um, so, yeah. We're on High uh, Hrothgar, uh, right here. So you can see there's uh, White Run and River Woods around here somewhere. That's right here, actually. Um, so, yeah. You want to have completed the quest to slay your first dragon, which is very early on in the game, and then you want to complete the tutorial to learn your shouts. Anyway, go into High Hrothgar, and uh, I found the best spot to do this is right here. So you, you crouch down, pull out a knife, dagger. This will also help your one-handed sword skill. So, and then you just put that away. So the first thing you do want to do at least is level up uh, your sneak to. Harder to detect, basically. And then you wait for it to go away. Pull out your knife again. Because these guys will kill the shit out of you. But, with this exploit, you don't have to worry too much about... Because you can do it basically anywhere one of these guys is kneeling. Just crank the difficulty all the way up to legendary so that, uh, you know, their health pools are a lot larger. Um... And you don't have to move around as much, uh, because when you start slashing them, what they do is they have a tendency to push away as you're doing it. So your back will be against the wall. But you see how quick this levels up. The sneak attacks do massive, massive damage. Or, well, not damage. Well, actually it does. Three times damage. But when you have it up on Legendary, it gives tremendous amounts of XP, I should have said. And you can level up like absolute crazy town here. And this is... I would suggest, if you've never played Skyrim, not to do this. But keep it in mind if you... I was never really too big into the sneak aspect of this game. The stealth didn't do too much of the Thieves Guild stuff. Never... So yeah, but yeah, it just goes up like crazy until you hit about level 70 or, uh, in Sneak, but it still goes up. This maybe take you 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and you're off, you get Sneak up to 100, and then you can Legendary, swap it over, and level up some more. So you can, as you can see, I can already level up again. And then move him to the side. Oh, plug it. Hi. I wasn't doing anything. What are you looking at me for? So yeah, this is the spot I'm talking about. Because you can do it here, but they'll, they have a tendency to go back and forth and wander off and it gets harder to hit them. With this, you're right in range to just keep swinging. And see, my sneak's still going up because I beat the ever-loving crap out of this guy. Just make sure that nobody catches you doing it, because if they do, they will fucking destroy you. They will scream your head off. It's also good for leveling up your one-handed, but not too great for it. Doesn't level it up very quick. But yeah, you can see how quick this is going. 
See, one handed went up to 57. I got that up naturally, other than doing this a little bit. I just wanted to get my sneak to level 100 so I could not worry about it anymore, just in case I ever do need it, because I'm pretty sure it comes in handy with the Thieves Guild. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if one of them walks away, basically, the only thing you have to do. I'm naked, apologies. Uh, I wanted to make sure my stats were based. So, you can wait. Uh couple hours and somebody else will appear right there and you can do it all over again uh, maybe a few more hours uh, let's give it a seven I'm not sure I'm trying to explain this best I can because this is indeed the best spot to do it look at that old man he doesn't give any fucks none whatsoever how rude Anyway, I think around noon somebody should be camped out around here. Yeah, there we go. Hey, where are you going? Just fucking sit down so I can smack you in the back of the head a bunch. Wait two hours. Somebody else will be there. Yeah, there we go. See? Volgar. Sorry, my friend. I'm about to have to beat the crap out of you. I'm sure you can practice pickpocket, too. But, uh, don't know if I would recommend- I mean, I guess it would work. Good night. Like I said. Easy way to get this up to 100. Now I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna show you- I'm level 43. And I got to level 43 from doing this because I didn't want to have to be bothered spending hours and hours and hours of doing everything over again because I've already played this game. The remaster looks quite nice though, the special edition quote unquote anyways. So this uh, may have been, I believe this was in the other games too, but, and this isn't pre-recorded, I'm actually doing this right now, um, yeah, I don't believe that I think this was this was a known exploit but it is still existing in the special edition for PS4 I I would think Xbox one and PC as well so you can just do this to your heart's content if you want to level up because also seeing as this is the special edition and it comes with all the DLC you will be able to actually um, there is no level cap here, at least as far as I know. Uh, you can... At 81, it really slows down, apparently. But I think on PS3 when I played this... And yes, I know it was a mess on PS3. Um, yeah, which is why well, I was a little disappointed. But, oh, these 60 frames are nice, though. Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, go switch places with your friend. Somebody should be around. There we go. See, if you do it in the daytime, it's not too bad. That's actually what I would suggest. Sorry, buddy. So yes, you can probably hear me furiously mashing the right trigger. Um, but yes, this is, I think, the fastest way to do it. Because if you do it the other way, you have to wait for them to reset and wait an hour, and sometimes they just go away and fuck off, and then you're all pissed off like I want it. I just want it to happen. So we'll see by the end of this. God, I've got this up legendary like five times already. Now I think I don't know how long you can do this. I don't know if you can do this later in the game or not. You can see. You can always check. But, uh, this is... You can do this basically right after you climb the steps to High Hrothgar. Which, it's a bit of a mouthful now that I think about it. Sorry, I'm just babbling so I can show you this. Feel free to fast forward. You'll get the point. But, if you want to see what kind of levels it gives you... Even at 43, I guarantee you I'll at least get three or four level ups. I think. Me thinks. Not 100% positive. See, we're already at 90. And this is taking no time at all. Don't know if I'm actually going to save this part, though, because I don't want to be too overpowered. 
want to get my the thing I want to get up most is uh my destruction magic because eventually you learn a Kamehameha wave and that's just cool come on it's funny I can even be impatient it's something as this is very tedious but at the same time incredibly quick So for the just for those of you who wanna, you know, do things for the Dark Brotherhood or the Thieves Guild or you know. Or if you are if you play a thief build, well then congrats, you got your go to to get sneak up anyways. Now I can tell you that if you're worried about leveling up speech, that that is patched out the one in Riften, or with the Blackbriar metery. They have taken that out. Which is unfortunate, but you can do something in uh, Dawn Guard to kinda help it out. And 99, 98. Come on, 99 and 100. There's 99. And drum roll, please. I'm not gonna do that. And 100. Put your weapons away. Now, you can just head out of High Hrothgar here. Go back to the open world of Skyrim. And so, I was level 43. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's put some stuff into health. So, 43, 44, 45, 46. There we go. Stamina, Magica. So I got I went from level 43 to 48, and that's a relatively easy way to get your thing going. So till next time, I'll see you all later with another exploit. So cheers, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it.